Alrighty, I just filmed my A6 ring setup confession, and now I'm filming this, filming this one. This is my personal ride rings. I've been in personal ride rings since I think January of 2018. I love it. The space, the size, everything. It's a good desk planner. And this gorgeous beauty is from Pelle Studio. I cannot recall the name of this leather or if she even still has it. It's like Hermes leather. That's the best way I can describe it. And I just, I freaking love, like I love the monochrome color. I love it. I have a Pelle Studio A6 rings and Hobonichi cover coming hopefully this week and I am beyond stoked. Okay. So my personal wide ring setups for the last couple times that you've seen in videos has always been very hollow and very celestial, but because this was kind of my Valentine's Day-ish setup, I wanted to use this planner and I wanted to do more golds and rose golds, which I haven't done in a really long time. And I have no problem mixing metals, but you'll see, like there's a very big difference in style and deco in this one compared to previous setups. And I use my Asics rings for the celestial goodness. So. We will just get right into it. My front pocket has a lot of the planner sophisticated. Um, this is just scrap of paper from Michaels. I have a washi die cut that I layered. This pretty thing that um, Amanda from Fox and Pick sent me. It's she got it ages ago. She said at a Japanese stationery store, and I just love how that looks layered on top. Um, this is another one of the washi Monster X cards. This one in rose gold and then a pen and some more scrapbook paper. And then the front, I have this piece of, this is just laminated sequins. And I like, it's very sparse, so I like the way it looks layered on top of this. This is a piece of very thick vellum that I put a vinyl um, that just, just any actually sent me the vellum too on top of, and I love how that looks together. And then that's all layered on top of this um, acetate from Rose Colored Days, and then this, which I love. This is from Peach Palm. I got this from Lena, I think at Winter Plannerland, and I flippin' love it. And I just put a Monster X picture on the back, a little um, Fox, is this a Fox and Piff die cut? And just bits and bobs. This is a Cat Espresso dashboard. I love it. There's like hints of blue in this planner, so I thought this one was perfect. It has another scallop pocket, which I layered a happy scrappy card in. And then on the back, this is a Fox and Pit bow marker that Annie made for me, and another scallop pocket on the back. <laughs> this was in my pocket rings. Remember when I had pocket rings? No, this wasn't in pocket rings because pocket rings is like this big. This was in something else and I found it in my stash and I was like, yes, yes, I'm just going to put that in here because it matches. Um, this is from Live Life and Create Florence. This is another Cat Espresso dashboard, the pink star one that I layered a bunch of fun things under on top of happy scrappy paper and more stuff like that. And this one has this kind of dash. Oh, wait, no, sorry. This one has this kind of dashboard in the front, like it inserts that way and then it has a corner scallop in the back. I just love it. Okay, I know everybody is gonna want what I'm about to show next, but I apologize. It was personally made for me by Jacenia. I begged her and it's amazing. So this acetate is from, this was made by Stacy from Kitty Mint Co. It was just like a gift. And it looks so good layered on top of this, which this is another one of those Thrive letter by Kanani, the vinyl was made for me by Becca. And this is a fold out moon phase, 2019 lunar calendar. And Jacenia made this, it's amazing. I could never do this. I mean, I think she bought the actual calendar, but she obviously foiled it and she obviously added all, the, I mean, it is the most beautiful thing I own. <laughs> I mean, that's, it might be a little bit of an overstatement, but, it is one of my favorite things ever. So that is in there. This is some Hobby Lobby vellum and this is a, is this a Fox and Pip? No, this is Kitty Mint Co. And this is a Kitty Mint Co um, die cut. I actually think it's a sticker, but I'm obviously not gonna use it as a sticker because this is a little sequined dashboard that Anna made me, planning with Anna. And I just talked to this Fox and Pip journaling card in there and there's a hollow picture of husband's face on the back 
This vellum is from Happy Scrappy. This is from Maria to Will Bees, her V-Day kit, and I just think it's so perfect. Also, I love heart bokeh. I have another Pigtails and Pockets Fox and Pit bow clip. Another picture of Monster X. This acetate I got a while ago, like a year plus ago, and I think I got it from scrapbook.com. I have another piece of that vellum with Monster X this time in gold layered on top of this picture, which is in a Cat's Presto glitter dashboard. Um, the back, I, so the back has this pocket and I just tucked this thing from the Planner Society into the pocket and then left this bit out so you can open. This is a vinyl from C. Oba Vinyl, C. Amy Draws Mom. And then honestly, I wasn't intending to put a picture of Monster X again in here, but it just fit and it matches. So whatever, it's fine. I'm insane. Um, this Dreamcatcher vinyl was made for me by Gen XO Plans. It's been in my planner forever. I love it. Layered on top of this vellum, which I think is Rose Colored Days. I think it came in like one of her packs. Beautiful. These top dividers were made for me by Rachel from Pigtails and Pockets. And my side dividers are from Planet Char. This is my goal getter insert. So I have 2019 and I put my 2019 monthly personal goals in here. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. So I use this for my personal goals. And then Jacenia made another insert, another like goal insert. This is a Fox and Pip sticker that I put on there, Galaxy Bro. This page marker is from Cat Espresso. And this is where I put shop goals. Because you can do it. You can put there's a page for goals. Let me see if I can find it without showing you guys. Yeah, so there's a place for goals for every single month, and then it's broken down by week. And I love that. Although I haven't filled it out, TBH. I need to work on that. So that's kind of my 2019 big picture personal and professional goal section. Happy Scrappy Vellum. Again, my side dividers are from Planet Char. My dangles are from Exo Carolyn Designs, my shop. This vellum I've had forever. I'm pretty sure it's just like an image on the internet. I get asked about it a lot. This is my list section. You guys have seen my list section and the sections in this planner a million times. So I'm not gonna go into detail, but it's basically the same thing. I include random list insert pages. These top dividers, by the way, are from Kanani Studio L2E, and they're amazing. Uh, and then this is just where I mark Happy Mail because probably the thing I list the most here is all the Happy Mail that I need to send out. Project section is the same, just projects and I have random inserts in there. And then I have shop projects, which admittedly I have not used, but it's beautiful because it's broken down by collection, release, and notes. And this is how I do things. I mean, I do things based on a collection, but I think what I'm gonna do, instead of it being each release date, I'm just gonna do like a collection page. So I have a collection called Free People and I'm gonna list all the charms that I have in that collection type thing. So I can use it a bit more functionally because um, it doesn't really make sense to have one of these for every single time I have new releases. This is a little Sumiko Gurashi envelope that I stuck on like a, I forget what these are called, but they're strips that you can just stick on and hole punch into your planner. They were given to me, I don't know where to get them. And I can tuck, you know, whatever I want in there. This is from a Once More With Love paper pad and I just loved how it looked against this rose gold scrap of paper from Michaels. This is my coupon for Annie Plans printables. All your Annie Plans printables can be purchased using this coupon. 25% off, $5 or more. And then appropriately, I have a picture of Annie and me from when I visited her last year and some cute die cuts. This Starbucks coffee I think is just rando. And this is a Catspresso dashboard. It has two horizontal pockets, which I love in the pink blush stars. And I just layered a bunch of good things in there. This is, oh, this is from the Bestie box from Wonton in a Million. I love it. It's a giant sticky note, which is such a good size. So then I have my year section, 2019. My word is thrive. And this is where I kind of decoratively do like a month overview. I need to update this. I just put notable things like new releases, nails, therapy, just so I can see from a bird's eye view kind of what's going on. Plus, I just really enjoy 
decorating these. And you know me, I love a monthly view, so I'm gonna have it in every single planner. This is just a piece of acetate that I put a bunch of vinyls on. And then I have this. This is actually from a card from Target, and I finally stuck it in here. And I layered some vellum on the back. I bought this vellum from a local scrapbooking store in the Bay Area, but I do think it eventually made it on scrapbook.com. I'm going to maybe add stuff to this. I just haven't yet. And honestly, I don't need to because <laughs> I have so much deco, but I just like how it looks. Then the next section is wellness. So this has changed slightly from last year. This is also just random. I have first and foremost, my 2019 mood tracker. So I, this is a sparkly paper hood die cut I put up there. This is a bando, shop bando card that I took the cover of. On the back I put my legend. I have a piece of acetate in here because this stuff was transferring onto here. And I put this amazing queen adhesive pocket from the Simply Gilded box. I just love the way this looks together. Lauren, apparently like, I just really like putting pockets on your acetate. Because I think it's so like versatile, the acetate. Anyway, you get my drift. And then I have my Life in Pixels mood tracker. My mood, I mean, there is a lot of blue, which is feeling low. And it's, it's a little alarming, but... This is why I do this because it's so helpful to see. Like if you look at my 2018 one, you see a whole bunch of crazy colors here and then you see it getting much better over here. And so I have that in the very front and then these are just things, I have like random notes about my mental health. And isn't this pretty? This is from a Bando spiral bound planner that I had and obviously never used and I just cut that out because I love it and this is a fox and pip sticker sheet she just released this not long ago and I love it because it's like now playing and you can do music she has one for podcasts and obviously I stuck a monster X sticker on there because that's really all I listen to this is um embossed acetate that uh, Malika lettered and embossed, which I love. I love this layered on top of this Scribble Prompts Co. card, all layered on top of this Fox and Pit vellum. And then I have Juniper and Juniper's floral headpiece, which I freaking love. This next insert tracks my fitness. I decided not to do a Life in Pixels and to do this instead because I can write more stuff in it. This is really cute. This is Once More With Love and Annie Plans. Um, but I'm going to redo it because I changed my mind as to how I want. I want to write things in a very consistent manner. And so I have a note to redo this and to color code it. But I love this insert. I think it's genius. You can use it for so many things. And it's just one page, a fold out, easy peasy. I put this in there actually. And then I have my body section. This is the same from before. I have workout by the week I have like my ideal split there and then I have my weight training logs which I'm super behind on filling like I've put dates but not actually the stats and then the last section is my Carolyn section as I mentioned I have that in like every planner and I just have like dreams and this is just kind of where I get I daydream or I write things that like I want and see more for myself in the future, but I, I'm not like breaking down into like a task oriented goal per se. Um, it's just a catch all. It's also like a reference section, etc. I have this grumpy bear pocket that holds some stickers. Also holds my, holds my stars because my next section is social media. And this is where I keep track of my Instagram posts. I killed it in Jan, I have not been doing so great in Feb. <laughs> um, and then I was giving myself stars for when I did it, um, and I'm behind on all of that. But yeah, social media tracker. And then I think I have some pages in here for YouTube. Yes, I have some YouTube pages in here. This is an insert from Annie. I think it's, I think it's her social media insert. It has a variety of things. And then I have my little reading log. I put this beautiful reading is magic card from Simply Gilded. I put one of the rose colored days moon star adhesive pockets back here. 
And then I actually reprinted the cover for this read, <laughs> this book insert, because this is a really cute, happy, scrappy cover that I liked the look of. And then the reading log, um, this is a collab with Spot Drop Bookmarks and Annie, and I just put a different cover on it, but the inside is this really handy, like you just write the title, your review. I'm super behind on reading. The thing is, I only read when I'm on vacation, and then I can read like a book a day, but I haven't been on vacation since Hawaii, and that's when I read like two books, so. Yeah, that is that. And then last, this is uh, a jelly pocket that Stacy made me. You can tell, like, she stitched it. And I just put Monster X, of course, into. And then my page lifter, I put this pocket that I put this um, Fox and Pip vinyl on. And I tucked a bunch of layered goodies back there. And then my back pocket is really simple right now. I have this little folder that I got. I actually got this when I was in Hawaii in the little Japan floor of the Alamoana Mall. And I just have some stickers back here and it just tucks perfectly into here. And then this is here because I'm going to make a bow marker with these very beautiful rose gold simply gilded bows. I just don't have the acetate I want to use for it. Side note, Mandy, if you're watching this, like we need to order that acetate. Um, but that's why that's there. And then I'll probably add some layering bits. But I don't mind how simple it is because the rest of the planner is anything but simple. So this planner is pretty stuffed per use, but has a lot of goodies and it makes me so happy opening it. And this holds, just as a summary, this holds kind of bigger pictures. So I don't have dailies in here, I don't have weeklies in here. The only thing I track daily in here is my wellness stuff. So my fitness, all that stuff is in here. Then it's more big picture lists, projects, reference materials, and then obviously my monthly. So it's not as much of a day-to-day -day as my A6 rings is. By the way, their names, this is Fleur and this is Chloe. Um, but they both, there's not repeat information in these two which is important for me because I don't really want to write things over and over again like some people really like doing that I do not plus I have a million planners so yeah so that is it for Fleur my beautiful personal wide rings and I promise I will film something regarding my Hobonichis I also still use my fashion planner <laughs> um I, yeah, it's working though for me. I don't feel pressure to, I don't have to like keep ups because they all have captured different information, but my Hobo Weeks, this one is definitely my on the go day to day. That's why it has this inbox insert from Annie because this is like in my purse because it is a wonderful size. I mean, I think that's why people love it. It's just gotten so cute. Um, I need to reprint this insert. This is a habit tracker insert, but the cover of it fell on the ground of the BART <laughs> when we were going to SF and I was like, ew. So I threw that away and I'm going to reprint this. But yes, I will film an updated setup about those and how I use those and how I use all my planners together. But for now, this is my personal wide rings. Thank you for watching. Love you. Peace out.